So what's happening YouTube? Wizard Raptor here, thank you for joining me for Horizon Forbidden West again. Let's get on with the story, got lots to get through today. Got a big recording schedule today. Did a quick live stream last night on uh, Twitch of some side content. Upgraded some bits and pieces, upgraded some pouches so I could carry more ammunition. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but if you look, I can carry more arrows for a lot of my weapons, like this one, for example. Uh, I really needed the, the extra so that I wasn't having to stop and reload as much in combat. Um, and yeah, it was, it was worth it. Um, for those that are interested, the live streams take place on Twitch because I don't, I'm not tied to a broadcasting platform and I think Twitch is easier to set up for live streaming. So if you do want to catch a, a live stream of Horizon Forbidden West, there's a schedule over on Twitch, feel free to nip across, check it out. Um, but story content will continue on YouTube, so don't be... Don't don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. I wouldn't do that. The YouTube's where I started. YouTube's the, the platform that I, I I I began on. It's kind of where I'm happiest, um, and I use Twitch because I'm happier using that for live streaming. So yeah, don't worry, you're not going to miss out on anything. So let's rock on. We are going to get Aether. Yeah, we are. After we absolutely smashed. The rebels. Um, we broke their snake and we stopped the Tanakh chief from getting killed. We replaced, we helped replace his new um, marshals so he can keep law and order so he has more chance of. Uh, surviving long enough to unite the tribes and meet this challenge. So here we are. I don't know if this is going to be a cauldron that we're going to have to go through. Hopefully not. There, that console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now I get this back to Gaia. The vision for the world has changed. The work of the ten got me. These look like the hollow control banks. This might have been the only place that was big enough to contain Aether in terms of storage. Aloy, here. Let's talk. Well, give me a chance, I've got a ladder to climb. Let's talk. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. Yep. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. 
following the tragic events of the war, Ann Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Here you go. I love this soundtrack. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. <laughs> so I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Oh, you've no idea. <laughs> Fantastic. Now that was inspiring. All right. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. Yeah. <laughs> of course we are. So Regala's rebels now face. the tip of the spear that shall finish Regala. Oh yeah. Trust me. Join JTF-10 for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. Whether at home or abroad, JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, Your blade be they bright. laid their traps for their enemies. The Ten guide you. Now that... Today is a day for pride. It's brilliant. You Joint yeah, Task Force, GTF 10. You, you have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. 
That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Fantastic. Okie doke. That's quite cool. So black boxes, we, we've not got the tool we need to get a lot of them. I think a lot of them are hidden behind the flowers, the metal flowers that won't open. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Regala will strike soon, and we'll be ready. So these. The grid of JTF-10 in the mountainous regions of the hot zone. Trained to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. So the Joint Task Force. And... JTF-10 claimed home field advantage in the desert. JTF-10 seized key assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Brave, 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 uh, men and women. We won't let Regala take the grove. Aloy, a word, if you will? Not in the field or relaxing at base, Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. Aloy, these daredevils of the sky shared it all. Huh? Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaro cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Kavo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Kavo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. I don't know. Depends. If he's got a taste for blood. You said Kavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. 
One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Hopefully you guys can see as well what I've meant. Um, I need to stop that. Um, I've been trying so hard. Hopefully you guys can see what I've meant now by the Tanakh using military terminology. Um, I've done it again. Setting themselves up as elite units based on the histories they've been watching. I promise I will cut that in there. Back to the base we go. Back to the base we go. Something I've been hoping I would get, I'm not going to lie, I was hoping that capturing Aether would allow me to override machines. Specifically because he's in charge of weather and air and things like that. Capturing Aether would let me fly the Sunwings. This? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We yes, still please. have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. <sighs> Looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. 
So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Ha 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 ha. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Is it me, or did the old ones just look funny? Funny how? Yeah, they're close. They're... <laughs> this is really cool. I like the fact that there's this base. We're building a community of our own, bringing in people from all the tribes, uniting everybody. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Beasts of the bird in the air. Beasts of the land in the air. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Aluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... ...the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. Shadow Karja? You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Luthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. 
I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Done that already. I want to know what this is. What is this? Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. I think I can reconnect some of them already. It seems like there are more out there. Drones reconnected now. An excellent choice. Oh no! <laughs> Happy days! Now that is awesome. Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. I don't want to waste a lot of these video minutes with massive amounts of story exposition. Um, by all means, feel free to play the game yourselves and listen to everything that Gaia's got to say. I'd play. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Uh, the main living area. What's this going to be? Here? No, that's locked. <sighs> Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. <laughs> Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Farzineth, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. That has to be interacted with from the other side. So see what I mean? This is awesome. Home base. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. 
Feels like so long ago now. When Varl found me after the Hades proofing lab, I thought I saw Rost. I don't think he'd understand any of this. Or what I have to do. But still. I wish he was here. I don't know. I think Rost would have followed you just because he believed in you. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. When I met Hikaru, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. But Vashav was right. Hikaru wants peace. It won't be easy. But with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. That's what I want to hear. We got. That's us just past the half an hour mark now, so this is as good a place as any to wrap up this episode in home base. And in the next one, we will go ahead and tackle. hopefully getting another subordinate function that was missing, Eulathea. I'm looking forward to this actually. So join me guys please for the next episode. If you've been following the story so far and enjoying it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button and that way you'll know when my videos are coming out. I do upload more than one video a day so if you see one video go live there will be more coming the same day. Um, I'm not great with social media at the minute, I'm learning, um, but I'm learning all this on the job. So I do tend to get the first video publicised, I get a lot of stuff out on my social media about the first video that goes up during the day, and then I, I don't get the other two up. Um, but don't worry, you're, you're not missing anything, it's all there. Um, if you are looking for the episodes, I think 24, 25... And 26. Might have those numbers wrong. I know a few of them went up yesterday anyway. I can't remember the, the numbers that we're up to. I've uploaded so much in the last few days. I've got so much to do today as well. Um, but yeah, don't, don't worry. If one video goes up, there will be other videos that have went up that day. But it's all on the channel. You guys can go back and see it anytime you want. Um, I'm looking to get a community built up here of like-minded gamers. If you're into... Um, gaming across any platform, any history. I'm not exclusive. Um, I'm not gonna exclude you because you're because of the platform you play on or the brand that you prefer. I'm not about that. Um, this is an open-minded community that I'm trying to build with people who like anything about video games, just the playing of them, or if you like the story, the art design. I love all that stuff. It's why I like a lot of the mediums that I do. Um, so yeah, please get in touch, leave your comments, you can do it on social media, you can do it on the videos on YouTube, you can drop in a Twitch live stream and leave a quick comment or chat. Um, the live streams are usually not story based, they're side content so that I can interact with people if they want to drop in and have a chat, so please feel free. Um, and with that being said, take care, be kind to each other and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye for now.